Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20, and welcome to episode 31 of Direwolf 20's Dungeons, Dragons, and Space Shuttles Let's Play series, where today I'm making myself a little bit more Inyori. You know what is funny? Is we're actually getting a little bit low on redstone. How funny is that? How funny? And I mean, I wouldn't say low. I'm saying a little bit low. I'm saying I should stop skipping it when I mine. Not that I'm entirely skipping it, but I'm also not like, ooh, redstone, let me grab all that, right? I'm like mining along and I'm getting some stuff and I'm just like, oh yeah, now there's redstone over there. I'm not going to run for it, right? Like I'm not going to not gonna lose my mind over, yay, redstone. Uh, what I'm looking at today is the carpenter. Uh, but before we do that, I just want to note uh, a few things I did between episodes. Made myself some reinforcement modifiers. Not terrible. Uh, a little bit of steel, a little bit of mana steel, and some blast bricks, right? Easy stuff to make. Some compressed obsidian, which just took me spending like 20 minutes mining obsidian to get enough. Um, and then some ferroboron alloy, which is, again, a real simple alloy mixture of boron and steel, right? So a little bit more steel. Uh, Triberium, which we've seen made. Rune of Earth, which you've seen me make. Hard Carbon, which you've seen me make. So all these things are attainable. Just a lot of steps. But I made three of them. Uh, and threw them onto my hammer so that I could mine more. Because while mana's doing a great job at repairing the thing, I'm actually burning through mana pretty quickly. So by so by doing what I'm doing, it means I use less mana to repair my tools. I also got my importer hooked up on my sto small storage plate, and I added a farm for potatoes and rice. Because that's generally what I'm using to feed myself. Um, and, and that's where we're at, right? So today I want to look at making the carpenter. So that's going to be eight empowered in Yori plates and i'm just kind of getting all things ready for carpenter i don't know when and how we're gonna get data storage huh memory tier one hmm i thought there was a quest right here to make memory tier one four of them ah, i think i have an idea of where we're headed um so i need more microchips which needs more transistors right uh more super glue more gold more iron you might think I'm low on iron, but I'm not that low on iron because I went mining between episodes. Yay, good job, Dyer. Whoop. Drink up the tin tank. Um, and then more microchips, right? So I want to definitely get a handful of you. Oh, yeah, and paper. That's the other thing we need. So I'm thinking I'm thinking it's about time. Uh, and the punch and the driver and the circuit boards, right? Driver, punch, and boards. Circuit doohickeys. And while you're there... Get me this going. Cool? Because I know we're going to need more of that soon. Oh, and redstone. And electrotine. Because I know we're going to need that in a minute, too. Cool. So, just throw a bunch of glue in there. I'm going to get that many. And I've been using a lot of these, to be fair. Red alloy ingots, huh? Back to needing more of those. Probably, oh, no, 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 don't do that. Probably a contributing factor to my lack of redstone. Just saying. Probably a contributing factor. Uh, the hardened glass was for a tank that I was making. I, I, I made a tank downstairs. I went with tin. I think the last episode I said I was going to go with iron. But then I just said, eh. I think whatever tin does, which I want to say is 64 buckets, should be enough. 64 buckets is quite a lot, actually, if you think about it. So it should be enough to get us doing what we need to do. Six, and now we need more of those circuit plates, which luckily we made more of. So that's 12. So if I want to make memories, that's enough for, for nine, right? Yeah. Uh, we're also going to need more printed circuit boards. So we've got the grog. Right? Okay. Doot, doot, doot. Remember we made this a little bit ago. Okay, I see. So you use this each time. So that's not like one of those I take durability from being used things. That's one of those like I get used up entirely things. Cool. So let's just do it, do it all. Do it up. Do it up. You're still cooking up that stuff? That's fine. This way we have enough for future. Really, bro? Come on. You were supposed to do this. And then this. Thank you. Much better. 
cool. So that shouldn't be too bad to get going. So the memories, we need four of these dudes, right? Oh, right, and then you need to be turned into these. But the grog was what? Grog was what? Grog wasn't too bad. But boy, do you really get used up. Sugar and water, huh? Well, luckily I have a source of sugar. What do you get, pulverized into sugar? I'm imagining that's the way that works. Oh uh, yeah, can I pulverize you though? Like, really bro? There you go, crush will work. And it actually gives me significantly more, so I might as well do it. Cool. Yeah, we get three sugar per operation, not bad. All right, since you're not in too much of a rush here, do that. And then we just need some buckets of water. Um, I don't know that I've done a good job of having an infinite water source, like, near to me when I'm crafting. But it would be smart, right? So, like, how about I pop down here? In my lovely basement that I'm not making a mess out of. But yeah, we're back to questing today. Well, questing and progressing, right? For me, a big a big deal is going to be... Um, sweet. I mean, the benefit of this fresh water is that you get it quickly and it stacks, right? That's pretty cool. I want to get the carpenter going. It's about time, right? Like, every recipe that I make that could be, like, more efficient with a carpenter, I sit there saying, like, man, I should make a carpenter. I legitimately believe it's about time we do that, right? So you need to do this. Oh, that's right, you need the grog. That's like an expensive recipe, really, if you look at it. But how much of that will we get? You and the sugar. So it needs a healthy amount of slime balls. What else could you do? Just any kind of slime ball? Can you do the rice slime ball? Probably, right? Silicone cartridge, huh? I don't know what that is. But I think we have more slimes in here, don't we? We have a few green slime blocks, but I'm going to do this one. Cool. So that should work. Beautiful. All right. And if I need more sugar, we have sugar cane over here. So I did get rid of the, um, the what you call it, the, the bushes. And I'll tell you why. Um... I don't think I mentioned this on camera, but at one point, and it was a while ago too, and I probably should have mentioned it on camera before now, but at one point, that should be good, I uh, went ahead to make all those uh, bowls, right? Like the, the bowls of fruit thing, whatever they are, and they don't stack, <laughs> is the problem. So as, as much as they're not... They're not even that great a food source in this pack. Like in other packs, they've been pretty good, but in this one, they're not ideal, uh, for sure. And as soon as I realized they didn't stack, I was like, nope, noping right out of that one. Noping out hardcore. Don't need you. Okay, so that'll get me three memories. Right, I was correct about that. So if I want more of this, we're gonna need more red alloy ingots, right? So let's just get as many as we can with our current setup. That's cool. So that was a punch, huh? We used up our full punch. At least we fully used the thing. Cool. And if I want more, I would need more red alloy ingots. I think we're good for now, right? So give me one more of these, and my hope is that this leads to the quest, which is... Um, and not, not that it even matters super, right? It's not even that important that it lead to the quest, because I'm making the Carpenter, whether you like it or not, mod pack. But I suspect that's going to lead to data storage, which will then lead to, I'm hoping, uh, more things, right? Uh, microchip tier ones, I'll take those. They're kind of annoying. Oh, yeah, now we get the whole thing. Nice. All right, cool. All right, so that didn't actually lead to anywhere, but let's see. So I know we can skip applied energistics. I could make my advanced laser relay, which just needs some Restonia crystals. Do we have an energy laser relay? Yeah. Boom, look, easy peasy, quest complete. And that gets me a, a rare loot bag, which is nice too. And I mean, those laser relays are pretty nice for, for long distance wire transfer of power, right? So if there if there is something I need to do, I guess I'll do the advanced one, why not? Sure. 
Because loot bags have been pretty terrible in this pack, right? Um, canola, I should be able to get uh, the canola seeds. I'm going to go ahead and assume, without even looking up the recipe, that it's the standard canola seed recipe. I hope that's correct. Hooray, it is. Hooray, indeed. Oh, you want two of them? Kill me, Smalls. Boop. You can see I uh, threw a bunch of empowered ones in there. Now that we've got canola relatively well automated, right? Relatively well automated. I think uh, we'll start getting more, obviously. I also made drawers for my canola. Because I can. Hooray, quest complete canola. I'll take... Arrow of Withering, huh? Wither effect. That's pretty cool. Well, that's pretty cool. Empowered Oil. Yeah, I'm familiar with that. I'm familiar with that bit. Uh, I should be able to do that, right? Because um, Empowered Oil is Empowered Canola Seeds. So what I should be able to do is snag... Oh, you're not going to let me do that, are you? Mm -hmm. I'm going to make you require a redstone signal. In fact, I'm going to remove you entirely. Let this thing fill up. Well, that wasn't what I wanted to do, was it? <laughs> Whoops. How much two empowered oil cells? I should get the cells that I need. This shouldn't be too big of a problem. Nothing a little bone meal can't solve. Wow, they are bad shots, aren't they? I was all expecting to get shot at least once or twice, but nope, not a problem. Okay, so I've got my two cells here. Perfect, we got five of you. You can go in there, you're picked up. And we'll de dire derp this up. Cool. All right, you go away, you come with me. Give me a bucket. And drop, and try not to overwrite it with a block this time, direwolf. Cool. And again, my suspicion is that I'm leading towards um, what I want. See, this guy holds uh, yeah, quite a lot of buckets, huh? Nice. Leading towards what I want, which uh, is effectively the carpenter. I'm hoping that we're getting there. Uh, I'll take an empowered diamond team. That sounds cool. Liquid starlight, though. Hmm. Hmm, empowered diamond team. That's the reward I've chosen. Empowered oil cell check. I'm hoping that you're just, like, getting me to, to where I want to be. Like, that looks like it's going to connect in with something. The vertical digger, though. Ooh. That would be cool, right? A little bit of automated mining? I would not be opposed. And we could hook it up with our lasers. I forget what those lasers range are. Yeah. It's not gonna tell me how far it is, is it? Slight energy loss, yada, yada, yada. It's not telling me what the range is. Still, I mean, we could we could also power the thing with the wireless, these little dudes. Right? ADR for tick. I don't remember what the vertical digger requires. But it looks like you want me to make one soon. Sweet. Alright. Not too shabby. How's all this stuff coming along? Coming along nicely, thank you very much. FYI, our... Uh, our cells are doing a good job. Hey, did you finish cooking? Nice. Cleaned up all my ores that I went mining for. All right, so let's do this. Let's, um, so you've got the basic drill. This is from Steve's carts. Well, that's easy. And I'll take platinum plates because platinum's pretty rare. Actually, I get it all, so I'm happy with that. Ooh, truffle omelet. Truffles. Sounds good to me. All right. And then uh, you want me to make the vertical digger or the phantom booster? Ooh, that's interesting. 
Lens of the Miner. Interesting. Still trying to figure out why you're not leading me towards a carpenter. I'm guessing that I need to continue these quests to get to the carpenter quest. Because, like, memory is leading down towards, right? And I need to make four memory, which is exactly what I need to make. It's the exact amount of memory I need to make a data storage circuit, which is required to make the carpenter, right? So, I mean, like, right now I could make the carpenter, but I just kind of want to see if I'm gonna get what I need quest-wise. Let me knock out the Vertical Digger because I probably want that one way or another and then we'll be right back. All right, hey, look at that, Vertical Digger. Sweet. Put away some junk. Nice. I had to go kill some mobs because of uh, reasons. I needed blood for my inert blood thingy. All right, cool. So Vertical Digger covered. Absolutely want to use that. Uh, really, really. What if we got a crate? And we got that wireless doohickey. And we went ahead and let him mine. Like, I'm just going to stick him outside, right? Like, wherever. It doesn't matter. Bing. And now I want your mode to be only mining ores. Right? So I appreciate that you did that. But I would like you to only mine ores. Oh, that's right. You want those uh, range upgrades too, don't you? So you're, you're building up an RF reservoir so that's nice that's right i only use this in my very most recent series so the fact that i forget how it works is amazing to me but what do you expect from dire uh fandom boosters would super be nice to have right now Ooh, grilled cheese sandwich don't mind if i do uh so the boosters we want three of right oh they're not bad to make eh, they're a little bad to make Yeah, they're a little bit bad to make. They're a little bit... Uh, Terra Steel, I don't have access to yet. So the boosters may not quite be there yet, but yeah, absolutely in the future, right? Lens of the Miner. Ooh, nice. Oh, you want an Empowered Diamond Team for that too? Killing me! You're killing me, Smalls. So my question is, what's Lens of the Miner actually do again? Uh, can create ores out of blocks in its site. When the laser hits a block of stone, it will convert it to different overworld ores, whereas another rack will be converted. Out. Each operation uses 60,000 RF. However, each operation requires additional power depending on the rarity of ore that's generated. A neat one, but something I rarely do because it's such a huge amount of RF to actually generate, right? And the problem is needing Terra Steel. So now I'm really curious, right? Like, am I expected to get to Terra Steel before I get there? Like, what's the deal... Or we could hold off on that and try and follow this path, because maybe there's something beyond stone burnt that I need to get into this thing for. I mean, nothing looks too bad. Um, Triberium, ferroboron, steel. Like, I can make all these things, right? I'm thinking, yeah. All right, let's, 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 let's follow this path just a little bit, right? So I need you, and then I'm going to need uh, some stone burnt, but that shouldn't be too bad. Uh, so lunar reactive dust. Have we made any of those that we stuck with? No. So let's get two of these, uh, one of these. How many of these do I need to make? Just one? Okay, cool. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine copper plates. And if I don't have any of those solar panel thingies, it's just uh, three lapis and three iron and some glass. So I just toss them in there, let those cook, toss this in here and let that cook. And I'll even give you a little boost. All right, Lunar, hooray. So excited. I mean, I guess we can just throw it on our roof. It doesn't super matter. That's gonna annoy a lot of people. If only I had some tea to sip. All right, now that we've got that taken care of, let's real quick make some stone burn. I think I made some of that, didn't I? We have three, so that's not bad. Um, so let's make a little bit more and be right back. All right, stone burn quest complete, which gets me more stone burn, which I'm gonna use for my next quest, which is going to be the windmill. If I correctly guessed, I need a lunar reactive and I need the blessed vanadium plates. Cool and cool. Not that I ever really use windmills, uh, but it's a quest, so I might as well knock it out. Easy peasy. You're done. 
You're also done. That gives me the windmill. Like I said, I'm hoping that this is leading towards uh, what's next for me, right? I'll take uh, tin, I guess. Oh, right, that's the wrong one. Uh, you are complete, and you're complete. Cool. Water mill, we already made, and a furnace generator from, whatchamacallit. There you go, quest complete. Nice. The benefit of sometimes making things. All right, quick nap. Uh, and then while we're waiting for a little bit of crafting, I do want to set this up after all. Uh, cool, I got an extra crate. Or did I, where did I, where'd that crate come from? How are we doing? Are we, oh, we're getting stuff. Look at that. Cool. Sweet. I don't know why I only got one item duct, uh, but I'm a genius, so, you know. Cool. Is that, is that groovy now? You gonna do the thing? Thanks, bro. So you should be back to mining now, which is good. Good. All right, we'll let you accumulate some stuff, and maybe you'll get something good. I don't know. I could totally use those booster things. That would be really nice to have. And that's like a nice set it and forget it kind of mining operation. So I'm actually quite pleased that we that we got that because that that's awesome. I was actually I was I was literally just thinking like I'm kind of tired of mining. I hope there's an automated miner coming up soon. Um, and I'm very glad to hear that there is. Hey, quest complete, furnace generator. So that's not getting me any closer to what I want. So let's just go ahead and go for broke and make the carpenter. Culinary gen was next on the quest list, but that's not going to happen because it needs a lot of really complex food. I ain't, sorry, nope. Sorry, nope. Not, not, not jumping into the chef stuff yet. I mean, eventually, yes. Not, not opposed to doing the chef's stuff. I'm just, I'm just not ready yet. Okay, so let's get our deep storage thing, right? So that's one of the items that we need for this. We also have the empowered Nuri plates. We also need eight steel plates, which will cook up nice and lickety split, right? Um, and then what else do we need for this? We need a servo mechanism, right? Which the only thing I'm missing from the servo mechanism is triberium. I've made this before. Remember I made this before? Um, triberium fluid is five Tiberium and one Basalt, or four Basalt. I forget exactly. I keep forgetting how this works, but I remember it not being too bad. I remember Tiberium melts quickly, so it's nice. I'm thinking it might be something like that. Cool. And realistically, all I need is one ingot, so that's good enough for me. Sweet. Try beer aiming it. I needed a lot of that for that reinforced modifier dude anyway. Hooray, servo mechanism. Cool. So your recipe is this guy, right? So we're getting there. We need a tier two circuit. Okay, so this followed by this and this. I just got a motor as a quest reward, didn't I? I did. Nice. Cool. All right, so what else am I missing? What else am I missing? What else am I missing? Just the tier two microchip and the copper tank. Sweet. We have a copper tank here. Can I just do this? Oh, that doesn't do that. I was really hoping that would do that. I mean, I can just make a copper tank. It's not the end of the world, right? Yeah, I'll just make a copper tank. Uh, so I'll add you to the to-do list and the microchip tier two to the to-do list, and then we should be cool. All right, so that's gonna need some nether quartz plates and some lumium plates. Cool. Quartz plates times two lapis plates times two. And then I just need the quartz plates. Nice. And then, uh, and view silicon, which is a nice quick craft. Thanks to my instant smelter. I like the way that smelter works. Have I mentioned that yet? Because I really like the way that smelter works. Um, are we getting low on rubber and sandy something or other? Yeah, let's get a uh, tree tap. And we'll harvest up some sap. 
real quick. Sap harvesting. I wonder if there's a way to automate this. Right? I wonder if, like... Like, I know forestry used to be able to do industrial craft trees. I wonder if it would work on these trees or if they're considered... I know they're a different mod, obviously, so it may or may not support them, right? And then there's there's other things, right? There's uh, potentially industrial foregoing as a way to handle it. Potentially. Okay, you, you, and you. And then you guys get back in there. Cool. Sweet. Microchips a go. Carpenter, copper tank, that's right. Uh, copper, hardened glass, and glass. Good, we have some. Copper, I'm gonna say 16-ish, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Yeah, pretty close to sixteen. Back in a minute. All right, last one. Let's go. Boom. And carpenter. Boom. I don't know where that was in the quest line. I don't care. You know why? Because carpenters are awesome in this pack. Uh, that's gonna lead to a lot for us, right? Like. Microchips in the Carpenter, way cheaper than microchips. So that's, you get, right, like, you know. Yeah, the Crystal Teen is nice, right? But you get four of them for that. Over here, you get six of them for less resources, right? Right? Like, that's pretty cool. And if we figure out how to make this boosting mixture, that would be even cooler. I want to check that out. Yeah, I don't really understand what all this is. Raw boosting mixture, Lumix ingots. I don't know. It seems like a lot. A lot of something. I don't know what Lumix is. Lumix fluid, alloys from Terax and Palladium. Yeah, that's an alloy from, okay, that's cool. And then Palladium is what? Palladium ingots? I don't know. It's another Tinker's alloying thing. I don't know nothing about nothing. But still, the point is, more resource generation for less resources. I'll take it right and the same deal over here right like we, we put similar resources in so for example if we needed circuits right um you know the, the usual recipe would be this and you get two circuits per craft if we do it in the carpenter uh you use less super glue at the very least right um just just less super glue at the very least which is still cool right um but aside from that there's not a huge boost on this one but I mean, this... Oh, that's Crystal Teen, right? That's not going to happen. Uh, we could still look into that boosting mixture at some point, right? I mean, there's other recipes, obviously. But the point is, some of them are definitely cheaper. Some of them are similar resource requests, but still, super glue, less, good, awesome. Cool. Yay! All right, so I think that's a good wrapping up point for the episode. So let's do this. Let's wrap up here. We'll come back next time. We've got a carpenter, which is a huge upgrade for us in terms of what we can do with things, right? And then we'll uh, come back next time. And oh, look at that. Perfect 30. Nice. Doot, doot. Ba -da -ba -ba. Perfect. And we'll come back next time. And we will... Um, continue to progress i might want to get into some magic again uh because I'm, I'm feeling that itch a little bit um that's not bad that's not bad i could go on my roof i guess i mean no reason not to put it up there right it's not generating a lot of power but better than zero i don't know like how this thing's you know modification works power generating yeah whatever like granted i could 100 percent look at all those bad guys out there oh oh Hope they exploded in my claim trunk area. Just saying. You know what? I should get some blood collection going on if I'm gonna be killing bad guys. Alright. Yeah, definitely wrapping up point. Double 20 sign off. Hope you enjoyed the episode. Coming back next time, we will uh, probably get back into magic a little bit. That would be my guess. Alright, guys. Take it easy.